So 2010 was my first CrossFit Games and uh, the Pyramid uh, Helen was the first time I think anybody saw the engine. <laughs> um, the commentator was saying there's no way she can keep this pace, she's gone out too hot but as uh, Miranda Rolroyd asks, I take it you like running? I liked running. <laughs> Uh, so 2013 Invitational was the USA versus Team World and I was part of the Team World and everybody expected Team USA to, to win. So we tried to be tactical in where we picked up the points and it basically came down to the, the final workouts and we managed to edge Team USA out for a Team World win which was pretty cool because we were in Berlin and the European crowd was just going wild. It was a really, really like cool experience and uh, a, winning a competition as an individual um, in 2013 to then win a competition as a team was just a, it finished off the, that experience as, a, as an athlete in 2013. Obviously 2014 was a devastating season. Uh, everything was feeling good. I was feeling fitter and stronger than ever. I had my strongest open finish ever. And um, unfortunately, the handstand walk event at regionals didn't go my way. And everybody knows how strong the European regional uh, was. And taking a 26th place was the impossible to climb back from. Uh, it was definitely a, a hard pill to swallow after winning 2013, knowing that I wasn't going back in 2014, but it just meant me even more determined to keep on training, keep on improving, to make sure that I was back in 2015. Uh, winning in 2013 still seems surreal. Uh, I think uh, because I was injured in 2012, the preparation for 2013 was two years in the making. And then you compete for a weekend. So it is such a small part of everything that went in into that Games. And I still forget sometimes and then people say, 2013 champion, I'm like, oh yeah, I did. <laughs> I did, I won it. <laughs> So it's definitely a pretty cool experience, and uh, but it doesn't stop me coming back even though I'm not still podiuming. I still want to be back at the games and just being the best me that I can be at this stage in my life. So the trail run in 2016, I still don't think Fakowski has forgiven me for that. Um, there's not that many events where they start the, the men and the women are competing together. And it's very rare that I would push extra hard to, to beat a male competitor. I don't even know what came over me. I just, it was near the finish and I saw him. And I think um, throughout the race, I'd been trying to pick people and I saw him and it was near the finish. So I was like, hey, let's, let's Let's sprint for it, and I don't think he's ever going to live that down that I beat him over the finish line. <laughs> 2018 season was definitely an interesting season. Preparations were going really well. Uh, had a good, good open. Uh, run up to regionals was everything was on track, and then. Unfortunately, I injured my elbow. I ruptured a ligament and had um, fractures in the joint, which meant that I had to have surgery and wasn't able to uh, compete in regionals. Luckily, the day before surgery, I was able to do the qualifiers to compete at the games as a, as a master. So that gave me something to focus my rehab on and uh, get fit and compete as a master. We also had an added complication with the visa issue 
and I was only able to like get into the USA the day of registration. So there was a lot of physical and emotional demands in 2018. Luckily, 2019 was a lot smoother. <laughs> So the 2016 uh, Invitational was uh, very different for me. Um, I was asked there as coach, so it was hard to be there as a coach because I still liked and wanted to be an athlete. But at the same time, I, was, I felt that like I was able to give something to the younger athletes who were on the team and uh, we ha on paper we had a good team it was just making sure that everything came together on the night and we managed to pull it off and against strong athletes from the usa canada and australia we were able to pull off the win Uh, 2016 regionals uh, was my first regionals back in Europe. 2015 I competed out in the USA. So coming back to one of the strongest regions again. Uh, didn't start off according to plan. I had a bad event in the first, uh, first workout, which meant I was in the lower heat on the second day, but I was managed to climb my way back in and the final event uh, nobody was focused on me, it was all between Annie and Sarah and then the final sprint I managed to uh, beat them over, over the finish line which everybody said to me was quite shocking because I'm not known for my sprints so I don't know what came over me but <laughs> I, managed to, I managed to get across the line before, before them so it was a pretty cool way to uh, finish the, the regionals and it was awesome being back on home ground with, with the European crowd. So obviously um, 2018, it was announced that the way we qualified for the Games for 2019 was all changing. Everybody was up in arms with like what was going to happen. The first qualifying event of the season was Dubai. I went in with no expectations to, to win. Um, my plan was to do as well as I could in the events that I knew I could do well in and then just enjoy the other events. And whether it was because I didn't put the pressure on myself, um, just had one of the best competitions that I'd had in a long time and I pulled off the win and became the first athlete to qualify for the 2019 Games. Uh, and. Like I said in the interview, it was pretty surreal. I still didn't expect it right, going into the final. And then uh, just knowing how good the other athletes were, I could never take it for granted. So it wasn't until I actually crossed over the finish line in the final event first, sealing the deal, that it was like, I've qualified. <laughs> I think uh, a lot of people ask me why after being in the sport for 10 years and winning in 2013 I still keep on going and that's that's why it's like being a part of the community competing with all the incredible athletes and just the atmosphere at the competitions it's like I couldn't want for a better life I, I love it the feeling when I'm on the competition floor with the other athletes, the judges, the volunteers, and hearing the crowds, it, it keeps you feeling young. I don't feel 37, <laughs> so I'll still be back as long as I can, I can be out there. <laughs>